Stevenson gets the 14-8 win over Widener in the Mac Commonwealth semifinals. Glenn Clark alongside head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, uh, maybe not the prettiest performance, um, kind of a sluggish start, but I, I guess you say you got the job done. You did what you needed to do tonight. Yeah, we haven't really had a good first quarter, first quarter all year, you know. So, but um, I thought we got better as we went on. We really got a good rhythm there in the third, in the second quarter, a little bit, a little bit ugly. I didn't think we cleared the ball particularly well at all. Uh, really struggled doing that. Well, we'll get better. We'll work at it and, and get better for your. Uh, I think it was, I think it's York on Saturday. But you know, we got through it. You know, at the end of the game, there got a little chippy. But when a team kind of goes down, they don't see the end of their season. Those kind of things happen. We don't like that, but those things kind of happen. So we got to handle that better. But overall, you know, it's, we got the job done. You know what I mean? We get, we get to go on to our 16 championship game. Game and hopefully, uh, you know, we'll do well against a good York team who's going to want to get revenge on us, that's for sure. Coach, I want to talk about you've had to do a lot of starting and stopping this season, <laughs> right? And then yes. you, you know, of all the years, maybe this is the year, perhaps it's not a benefit to have a bye in the first round of a tournament. How difficult has it been on your team to sort of have this bizarre schedule and you're playing, you're not playing, you're practicing, you're not practicing. How much of a toll has that taken? It's been a lot, you know, because we get going, you want to keep playing. And so we kept having to stop. And some of our conference teams didn't want to play us during COVID for whether they're injured or, the, you know, they shut down for the year. So that's really been hard to find games and stuff. And, you know, even though it was our, when we had our shutdown, you know, that put some other teams in some difficult spots. But we're willing to play whenever, and we just couldn't get the games we needed. So getting that by, I really think, hurt us because we really wanted another game to keep playing. So, and that was nine, I think it was eight days since our last game. So, you know, other teams, they're all playing, getting into the rhythm I think that really helps you so you know we just want to play and so um I think it, it is hard you know we really struggled out of that initial set when we played Eastern you know that was our first game after out of like 19 days and we really struggled against them to get going and we picked it up since then but when you have to stop and start it's so hard people don't understand how to, how hard that is it goes oh you're just playing the cross and sees it's not you know you got to get through it's really one of the most difficult things that we had to do and uh so but we're happy where we are and you know get to play again on Saturday and I think we're in a great spot for the NSA tournament we'll see what happens but let's take we need to take care of our business on us Saturday, that's for sure. All right, before we get to that, I want to shout uh, somebody out. You mentioned some of the slow starts this season. Your defense has done a remarkable yes. job all year long. But tonight I wanted to just talk about Matt Wilson, who had another like, four cause turnovers tonight, has been active all season long. Uh, can you tell me about Matt and how he's come on? Yeah, I think, you know, Matt's one of those stories, you know, for all those high school kids, you know, they go to somebody you don't play as a freshman or a sophomore a lot. He didn't. You know, he barely played. And uh, and now he's like one of our best players, one of the best defensemen in the in the, in the um, conference. And, you know, he has got a great stick. He knows who he is. He puts himself in a great spot, really smart. His film study's great. He's such a great team guy. Doesn't do anything he can't do. And, uh, you know, he just does – he just is always in the right spot. And so he's one of those guys that built himself up through the years. And now he's a starter and he's been doing it. And, you know, you think he's coming back next year again, which is awesome. So so we're really happy with how he developed. But he's one of those guys, he just shows you, hard work pays off. You keep grinding at it, you're going to do it. We never would have thought Matt Wilson as a freshman would be a starting defenseman for us. And now he's been a starter for force for two years and done a great job. He deserves a lot of credit. I know Maul Levy and McGow and Doyster get a lot of the credit because, you know, their athletic ability and all the things that they can do. You know, but Matt's the glue to those guys. He keeps them all together and keeps them balanced. And so that's what he really does. And every team, any good team I've ever been a part of had a guy like that. You know, you can't have three takeaway guys. You know, you got to have a couple different defensemen who can all do different things and Matt's really you know a jack of all trades for us and do a lot of things you saw we bumped him up today and we put him down close you know he played a lot of different areas so he's very versatile but he knows who he is and we're proud of how Matt's done he's done a great job and I'm glad you brought him up because he does not get enough credit that he deserves all right let's talk about Saturday night it is the rematch that everybody wanted uh, what'd you learn from the first game it was a tough hard fought yeah. you know big second half for you guys uh, I imagine probably going to be basically the same teams that we see on Saturday night. Yeah, well, you know, we got to get we got to be ready for the physicality. You know, they're going to come out and be real physical again. We have to be ready for that, especially 30 and their long pole and 12 and uh, Kennedy. You know, we got to be ready to handle that much better. You know, we got to be able to handle. Got to shoot the ball a little bit better early on and take advantage and take a, a advantage of it. You know, but we got to be very aware of uh, 28 and 15 and 14 and 44 for them. They're all really good and and four off the ball does a great job. And so they got some really talented guys. You know, so. Um, but we hope that we can kind of grind at them a little bit. You know, we're playing two midfielders, two midfields real good, seven guys uh, through there. They're playing like that one midfield 80, 90% of the time. But they're a really good midfield, and they do some great things. And it's going to be a good game. Their goalie's great. You know, we got to him the last time. I'm sure he's going to want to play much better this time. And I think their defense is going to want to do some things. So it's going to be a great game. You know, it's going to be more of a – it's going to be a defensive battle, I think. You know, two really good defenses are going to get after it. And, and so, you know, the team that's the most opportunistic is going gonna, gonna to come out on top. All right. We'll look forward to it. Saturday night, 7 o'clock, back here at Mustang Stadium. Coach, congratulations on a big win tonight. We'll Thank see you Saturday. That Bill's draft, huh? We're yeah, looking pretty right, good. Right. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. There's some other teams that are pretty good, too. He's Paul Cantabene. I'm Glenn Clark. Go MustangSports.tv.